Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Let's Play of The Rise of the Ronin. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to do the side quest, 100 Pilgrimages. Pilgrimages. Oh my goodness, I can't say the word. Whatever, we're going to be doing a side quest today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Pilgrimage. Oh my goodness. You ever have where you know the word, but you just can't say it for some reason? Your brain just is malfunctioning? That's what's happening to me right now. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. I really owe you for your help the other day, and knowing what you can do, I'm hoping you'll help me again. I'm sorry, but who are you again? Um, I ran afoul of some bandits, and you came to my aid, remember? I apologize for hailing you suddenly, but there's no way I could forget you. You see, I've been going to the Nanzenji Temple as part of my hundred pilgrimages. But, of late, thugs have taken to squatting there. Needless to say, this causes problems not only for me. They harass everyone on the premises, both worshippers and caretakers alike. Will you help me drive the thugs out of the temple? I simply must finish my hundred pilgrimages, no matter what. Hundred pilgrimages? What's that? Oh, you're not familiar. It's said that if you worship at a temple or shrine a hundred times, your wish will come true. It's a fine thing to show one's faith and reflect upon oneself, of course. But the specific number and rich reward are what appeal to me the most. Sure. I'll help you, why not? Thank you. Now then, let's strike while the iron is hot and get to it at once. Well, ain't it a beaut? They say that even the master thief Goemon was struck dumb by the view from above. There they are, the blaspheming scoundrels. So come on, let's teach them a lesson. <laughs> Let's ride on. We're not riding. We're walking, homie. Ugh. Oh, there was a guy up there. I didn't even see him. Ugh. 
Okay, so we just need to do one more. Oh, okay. So what I'm going to do is this right here. took care of the whole lot. Now then, shall we go pray? I'll go pray then. Hey, you're welcome to join me, you know. Oh, pray. Thanks to you, I can continue my hundred pilgrimages. I'm truly grateful. Why are you doing the hundred pilgrimages? Oh my goodness, pilgrim! Oh my, I can't do it. I can't do it today. I'm sorry, everybody. Oh, didn't I mention it? My wife is Japanese, you see, and she's carrying our child. Wanting to be a good husband, I asked her if there was anything I could do for the two of them, and she told me about the hundred pilgrimages. By the way, what was it that you prayed for at the temple? If you don't mind my asking, that is. I prayed for an old friend. Ah, of course. Like any of us, you have people who are dear to you. I will pray as well for your prayer to come true. Well, it's past time I was on my way. I really can't thank you enough for everything. So long now, and take care. Got ourselves a foreign book and a music box. Cool. Let's do this one. And then I think after this, we will move on to the main quest again. So we'll go to this um, Veiled Edge banner. Hey, buddy, come over here. Will you? Got any sake? I thought I had some, but it seems I drunk it all up. Oh, I'm not doing that. That's what it, that is. Hey, you there! Lend me a hand, will you? Well, well, fancy seeing you here. 
I've just heard a fascinating rumor. Care to know more? So you're in Kyoto now? It would appear that I've heard just about every rumor there is in Edo. <laughs> so I thought I'd make a trip to Kyoto, a city that's living on the edge. I had a feeling I might run into you again, and here you are, in Kyoto, no less. Great minds think alike, huh? <laughs> in any case, I've got some juicy information, so hear me out. Some thugs have apparently set up camp around Shinsengen. And their leader is said to carry a rather eerie sword. But get this, I'm told that the sword is in fact the cursed katana, Muramasa. To confirm the truth of this rumor, I'll need to see the sword for myself. What do you say? Will you take down the thug's leader and bring me the sword? Why do you want the cursed katana? You've never heard of it? The Muramasa is rumored to be a cursed katana that has long brought misfortune on the Tokugawa clan. Okay, fine. I'll go get your sword. Wonderful! <laughs> Word is, the shogun himself is looking for the Muramasa. So we'll have to act fast if you want to get our hands on it. Two hundred meters away. I know it's pointless to fast travel to this veiled edge banner, but I'm going to do it anyways. Easy peasy. Really? My dude could not grab onto the ledge there? drop anything. Lame. <laughs> Definitely not the boss, but we're going to take him out anyways. Dude. 
That was it. That was a quick mission. I mean, besides me wasting time killing everybody. So, you are the dubious lot who've been looking for the Muramasa. And so, what if we are? You're quite the arrogant Ronin. The man's got ears and eyes everywhere. He must have been tracking us. Say, is that strange looking swords the Muramasa? Yes. It is a strange blade, indeed. We'll be taking the Muramasa. Hand it over! No. How dare you rebel against the Shogun! Guards! Arrest these men! When he attacked you, he must have been the blade. In any case, you're really something. <laughs> if you have any more fun errands to run, be sure to count me in. So do we keep the blade? We did. We can't get in there, so we can't even do that mission. I don't even know why it put on there. Oh, that's weird. It's really not even that good. Well, it is only level 34, so... Let's go over here... Yeah, we'll go over here, and we're going to start the main mission. Finally, after all the side questing, we're going to finally start the main mission. Watch it only take us like five minutes to do this main mission. Could have done it a long time ago. What the hell happened here? Looks like these men were still breathing pretty recently. This doesn't bode well for Katsura. We need to find him now. Let's start looking. Right. I'll start over there. So much of the town has been burned down. So many homes. We're meant to be fighting for a better country, but this is anything but. Oh. Found you at last. Say your prayers! <laughs> One man against those samurai. Hardly. <laughs> Let's even things up, shall we? 
My thanks for your kind aid. Can people get out of my way? What is going on? Stuck in that doorway. That takes care of that. Now then, let's ask our friend here what that was about. Thank the stars. Glad it was you two who showed up. Katsura, I had a feeling that was you. What are you doing in that getter? The Choshu men feared the worst. I've been looking into the Shogunate's next moves, but I've let down my comrades by not being able to fight with them. Genzui, especially. It wasn't for nothing, though. I got my hands on some vital information. The Shogunate are going to send in a force to deal with Choshu soon. The Shogunate is making a move. Hmm. They're seizing their chance to take the Choshu out once and for all. Indeed. And they're expecting the Satsuma to provide the best part of the force. Them again? But weren't they planning to revolt against the government? Well, the Satsuma are making a show of compliance to the Shogunate, which will spell the end of the Choshu. Any bright ideas? Hmm. <sighs> you know, I've always wondered why the Choshu and Satsuma don't just make an alliance. You're the only ones with enough power to bring about change in this country. If you joined forces, You'd be unstoppable. You're not wrong. It would be incredible. Could it be done? But the Satsuma and Choshu are sworn enemies. We cannot simply form an alliance. Why don't you let bygones be bygones? That's right. Focus on the past and you lose sight of the future. To make a real change, you're going to have to make some hard choices. <sighs> I see what you're saying. Then we should ride to Kyomizadera Temple. Takamori Saiko of the Satsuma should be there at present, as far as I'm aware. He's the commander of the Satsuma forces right now. If we can persuade him, this plan might have legs. Let's meet at Kyomizadera Temple! Yeah, see, I think that's why I couldn't get into that temple is because of this mission. We'll be able to get in there now, I'm sure. And hopefully get that Veiled Edge banner, too. Could I leave it to you too to broach the subject? I doubt he'll be in the mood to listen if an enemy like me shows up out of nowhere. No problem. We'll handle this. So, Saigo's in this temple, right? Ah, that's right. The former chief priest of this place, Gesho, was said to be close with Saigo, and I hear today is the anniversary of his death. How did you learn all that? I was told by a geisha who was client from Satsuma. Apparently he met his end during the Ansai Purge, where he and Saiga were persecuted. Have any ideas how we should approach the negotiations? <sighs> it won't be easy. But as long as you're sincere and make him understand that it's all in the best interest of the country. He'll come around. Okay, I'm gonna give it my best shot then. Hmm, okay. Time to head inside. Ready when you are.
We'll get kicked out if we just rush in. Better to wait for the right moment. The grounds are pretty big, so we should prioritize locating Saigo. Man, there's a lot of people I'm unable to use. Let's use her again. It'll be a pleasure working together. I won't betray your faith in me. <sighs> that was smooth. I kind of had a feeling he was going to turn around as soon as I walked over there. That was smooth. Fear of the cycle is at the Jojuin Temple. Still no formidable foe. Wonder if we were supposed to go over there. Didn't mean to do that. Thought I was gonna sling up there, but I guess not. Formidable foe. That guy just didn't even care that we were fighting his friends. It's like, yeah, whatever. Don't worry about me. Very nice. Oh, there's a guy down here. Ooh, treasure chest. Can't leave those behind. How did this guy not see us? This is insane. We're fighting right next to him. Oh, 
なるほどお相手しよう<笑><笑>
may bring you clarity. So we're most likely going to have to fight this guy. It's usually how it goes. Whether we're going to befriend him or not, I don't know. How dare anyone threaten me on this most sacred day? Please wait! We just want to talk! Not fight! Good God, that guy hurts. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. He just threw my ass off. He was not playing around. It seems you're so ordinary to folks. What the? Someone with no intention to kill is pointless. You said uh, you would like to speak to me. Hmm. Stop the pointless fighting. Satsuma never chose to begin this fight. That decision was the Shogunate's. Forget the Shogunate. I want to speak to you, not them. It was the Choshu who drew their swords first. And considering their behavior in Kyoto, how can we leave them be? Look, I understand Satsuma's perspective, mm. but... Have you thought about our future? What do you mean? Hmm. Why don't you join the Choshu and change and you can change Japan? Change this country? You what are you saying? Saigo, deep down, I know you agree with me. There are things Satsuma can only accomplish with Choshu by its side. You want us to march alongside our sworn enemies? I simply cannot see it. And yet it can be so. If we should will it. But first, I should apologize. I am sorry. I could not stop the conflict earlier. Katsura of the Choshu? What are you wearing? Oh, ignore these filthy rags. I assure you, my aspirations remain unsullied. As my associates have said, we must put aside our differences. Even if it means moving heaven and earth, we must transform Japan. Katsura, I... I hear you. I accept your proposal. <laughs> Gesho, too, would have been glad to 
put an end to the bloodshed. Then it's settled. The Josho and Satsuma will join forces, and we shall be the ones to see it through. You know, I've heard that in the West you're meant to hold hands and shake them on occasions like this. Go on. Try it. <sighs> Seiko, I look forward to working with you. The pleasure is mine. Sago is a big ass dude. Takamori Saigo, swayed by Ryoma, defies the Shogun's orders and calls off the Satsuma assault on the Choshu. This episode helps the Satsuma and Choshu draw closer, and they conclude an alliance aimed at overthrowing the Shogunate. <laughs> Don't you remember what I told you back then? That I had a dream as big as the damn ocean! <laughs> <laughs> This way. Don't think you can escape us. Accept your fate! They don't give up easily. Do it, cut me down. Don't worry. <clears throat> he needs medical attention. <clears throat> Come on, let's go. I want to get back in the past for a start. Sounds like a plan. Ah, this is a real mess. <laughs> <clears throat> After being attacked at the Terada Inn, Ryoma Sakamoto took refuge amongst the Satsuma clan. Might not be so lucky next time. I'm going to have to leave things to you for now. I'm counting on you. Hmm. Wait for all the pop-ups to get done. See what kind of quests we got. Cool. We got a level. Yeah, we still can't get in there. The end of the Shogunate. Alright, I guess we're just going to start the next mission then. Huh. 
Hey, how goes it? Did the Ryoma make it away without any trouble? Sorry I couldn't be there for the send-off. Now we can't afford to ignore what happened at the Tarada Inn. But we still don't know the true course of events. It was the Shinsengomi? No questions. Kondo and Hitikata were away from Kyoto, serving the Shogunate, which puts both of them out of the picture as suspects. If the Satsuma Choshu Alliance searches for the culprit in the open, we'll only incur the wrath of the Shogunate. And that's where you come in. We want you to infiltrate the Shinsengumi and sniff out the culprit from within. I leave the matter to Katsura's judgment. My blade twin might be involved. Count me in. I knew you'd be on board with the idea. You can handle yourself and adapt to the unexpected. Well, perhaps some of them already know of you. But with a little disguise, no one will notice, I'm sure. You can learn from me. Come to Nishi Honganji Temple once you're fully prepared. You need to be ready to pass the initiation. Kind of a distance. Ah, glide, gliding training. I'll have to do that off recording. So probably be the last quest we can fit in. To the video today. Hey! This place is being used as a Shinsengumi outpost. The arrangements for enlisting have already been made. Thanks to a Satsuma connection, they're expecting a skilled Ronin to join their ranks. You've got a Shinsengumi uniform already, haven't you? You should change into it now. Unless you can uncover who orchestrated the attack on the Tereda Inn, it won't be safe for Ryoma to come back. I know you're up to the task. The stakes are high, but I'm counting on you. I'll find whoever planned the attack. Huh, <laughs> that's what I like to hear. Saigo and I will be praying for your good fortune. Ah, you must be the new recruit. I've heard much about you. I've heard talk of your skill with the sword. But a lot of the men here like to talk big, so I'll have to see it to believe it. Hmm? Have I seen you someplace? Now there's a fearsome look. Uh, I expect great things from you. Though I swear I know you from somewhere. I must just have one of those faces. <laughs> I didn't mean anything by it. I apologize. Ah, I haven't introduced myself, Shimpachi Nagakura. And this cold fish is Hajima Saito. Saito, show the new recruit around our outpost. And make sure you put them through their paces. Make sure you listen to Saito's every word, you hear? His skill is peerless. <laughs> Don't upset him or you're done for. <laughs> <sighs> Good grief. So you've killed fellow members before? Never. Dueling is strictly forbidden in the organization. Kill another member and you'll be made to turn that sword on yourself. The training facilities are just over there. Let's head in. Oh, 
Ah, that's Suzuki and Todo over there. They are the ones to talk to if you're interested in firearms. Here's where we trade. Seems we're just in time for a session. You won't make it into the Shinsengumi without some skill at the sword. It's time to show me what you're worth. Try taking him on. Good, I have high hopes. You did well, but I'd like to see a little more. Now, I'd like you to face him. All right, let's do it. Don't disappoint me. Yekudo! <laughs> What's the verdict? Think they've got what it takes? The technique is certainly interesting. Not bad at all. Well, coming from you, I'll take that as a high compliment. Now, what say I grant them the honor of a bout with their superior? Nagakura is in a different league from the other members you fought. Fancy your chances? I think I can take him down. Haha, <laughs> don't you worry. No one's going to die. No need to hold back. Newcomer. Throw everything at me. That was just pure luck. You're no joke. 
Most intriguing. Besting Nagakura is no mean feat. Right then. Follow me. They're gonna figure me out. I have a feeling. Ah, you must be the newcomer. Could you come here a moment? Sorry for interrupting. But even in this state, I thought I should at least introduce myself. This is Soji Okida. Neither I nor Nagakura are his match in swordplay. That's all in the past now. Now that I'm bedridden, I don't amount to anything but dead weight. If you want to improve, Saito could teach a thing or two, I'm sure. He's peerless, after all. <laughs> <coughs> Okita, I'll go on to the dojo. Send the new recruit over once you finish talking. So then, why do you want to join the Shinsengumi? I heard it pays well. <laughs> well, I can't disagree with that. Put your life on the line, and Kondo is sure to reward you generously. Saito's waiting, isn't he? You should get going. I'll see you later. Damn, everybody's getting cholera. How the hell am I supposed to get in here? Let's begin. This video is going to run a little long, I know it, but that's okay. God, I don't even have a moment to breathe here. Stamina. I see. I see. You're strong, that's for sure. 
There are few amongst our number who would be a match for you. That is no exaggeration. Why? You could go toe to toe with Kogoro Katsura or Ryoma Sakamoto. Those names must have reached your ears, I'm sure. I can hold my own with anyone. Hmm. Fine words. I hope to see you live up to them in battle. Right. I think we can make use of the new recruit. Any objections? Not from me. There's someone else I'd like to introduce you to. Follow me. There's an officer I'd like you to meet, Kashitaro Ito. A man so sharp he can tell you where the world is going and exactly how it's going to get there. Suzuki. I pointed him out before. He's Ito's younger brother. He's important to know too. Leads one of our units. Now, after I introduce you to Ito, I'll speak with him in private. You are to use any means necessary to listen to our conversation. Understood? Ito, I've brought you a new recruit. Their swordsmanship rivals that of myself or Nagakura. Well, you must truly be something to earn such praise from Saito. I am Kashitaro Ito, Shinsengumi's staff officer. The Shinsengumi is made up of the most elite warriors in Japan, against the Shogun's cowardly retainers. We are as a tiger to a house cat. This country's very future will be decided by our actions. You would do well to be mindful of the power we wield. I'll be, I'll bear that in mind. As you should. By all means, put that sword arm to use in service of our cause. I expect great things from you. By the way, Saito, can I have a word with you? That will be all. Dismissed. Listen to our conversation from outside and make note of every word. Got that? Go. I have to swim underneath or something? Hopefully we don't have too much longer in this quest. And they got me running all over the place, don't they? How am I supposed to get in there, man? What the fuck? Okay, this is kind of lame. Lame sauce, man.
Something the matter, Saito? No, no. I was just asking the newcomer to train the men. Someone so skilled should be able to oversee fencing drills, I thought. With Kondo and Hijikata absent, and Okita ailing, now's the time. No one can stop us from breaking away from the Shinsengumi. But without us here, the enemies of the Shogunate lurking in Kyoto may grow bold. The attempt on Sakamoto at the Terada Inn failed to rouse either the Satsuma or the Choshu. We needn't worry on that account. We are gathering in Aburana Koji to discuss precisely how to break free. I expect to see you there. We're finished. You can come out now. Fine work playing the spy. I doubt Ito noticed a thing. You must have heard it yourself, but let me state, Ito is a traitor. I'm keeping watch over him at Kondo's orders. What was the Terra Ada and incident? Ah. There was an assault at the Terada Inn recently, where Ryoma Sakamoto was attacked. You hadn't heard? He recently became a bigwig in the anti-shogunate forces, prompting Ito's attempt to off him at the Terada Inn. So the Shinsengomi also considered Ryoma a nuisance. Well, even if we did, we wouldn't just boorishly try to overwhelm him with numbers. If we wanted him dead, I alone would have sufficed. Ito's true intent was to tarnish the Shinsengomi's reputation and to ascertain the plans of the anti-shogunate forces. What we learned is that they can't afford to make any big moves right now, which led to Ito concluding the time was right for him to make his move. I'm going to rid the Shinsengumi of Ito's faction. I know you've only just enlisted, but I will need your help. Meet me at Aburano Koji. That's where we'll do it. Okay, I want to start off by telling everybody sorry for such a long video. I didn't think that that mission was going to take me that long, but it took me quite a while. All right, everybody, I'm going to start by telling everyone thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.